by the 1960s and 70s, Sydney was undergoing a building boom. Wish for a fountain. The Rock's position in the city centre made it prime real estate for the developers. Their demolition seemed inevitable. Salvation came from an unlikely quarter. When they decided to knock down a building just around here, they decided to knock down a building, over a thousand builders' labourers stopped up there working on those huge high-rise buildings and they came down here en masse and occupied the building that was being knocked down by non-union labour by scab labour. And so we stopped all of Sydney. Myself and other leaders got arrested, the photograph might being carried away, but it was, that was a turning point. The Battle for the Rocks in October 73 was a turning point for heritage in this country. Mundy and his union members took on the developers behind, in today's money, a two billion US dollar plan to flatten the rocks. Meredith Bergman was a student at the time. The Sydney Morning Herald, the main Sydney paper, did five editorials in 14 days calling on the leadership of the builders' labourers to be uh, jailed uh, for treason. Was one. <laughs> there were arrests, there were hundreds of arrests, and uh, it, it really was about trying to save the soul of Sydney. Opposition to the development scheme began when the residents of the Rocks turned to the Builders' Union for support in protecting their property. We were a left-wing organisation, uh, socialists and communists and uh, social democrats coming together to uh, improve the conditions of the workers on the job. And after we've improved the conditions, we felt that what's the good of raising conditions, wages and conditions, if we live in cities devoid of parks and denuded of trees?